Hi, my name is Suzanne Binderitis, and I am a pastor here at John Knox Presbyterian Church, and we are so excited to have the Reverend Stephen Blonder Adams with us this coming Sunday to preach. So I'm going to ask him a few questions so we can get to know him and begin thinking about what we will be learning this week. So first of all, Stephen, can you tell us a little bit about where you are currently serving? Well, thank you. And I am currently serving with Hospice of the Western Reserve at our facility in Westlake, and it's called Ames Family Hospice House. Wonderful. So this summer, we have been doing a series called Walking with Jesus and learning about how different people connect with God and how we can connect with God in our daily life. So tell me, what's one of your favorite ways that you feel connected to God? Well, I'd say my probably one of my favorites is the plants in my house and then nature outside. Um, I have plants in virtually every room of the house and I find a great connection with God through them and just walking barefoot in the backyard and being with our gardens and beautiful ferns and rhododendron and I love growing things from seed, so that that both nurtures me as well as constantly brings me in, into connection with spirit. That's beautiful. I love that. I definitely have the connection with outside. I've had a pretty bad track record with inside plants that my, <laughs> my kids could tell you about. My son would be like, yeah, just don't get that, Mom. It's not a good investment. <laughs> so I'm, you're inspiring me because I think a house plant is lovely. I love mm. that. Really. Well, so as we come to worship this coming Sunday, what are some things we should be listening for? Well, I think listening for both how we interact with scripture and um, God in the moment and of each day mm. and how that way of looking at both both scripture and prayer and the reality that there's never a moment of a day that God isn't present to us, and yet we go th through so much of our day not aware of that presence. And so that's at the root of what I'm hoping we will interact with in the midst of the scripture that the lectionary gives us for this Sunday that um, welcomes us to be in that awareness. I love that. I feel like that is something I need to hear right now. So I'm looking forward to that. So as we close this little interview, um, why don't you share with us what is your favorite sweet treat? You come home from a long day and you just want a little snack of something delicious. What what are you wishing was in your cabinet or freezer or fridge at that moment? Well, <laughs> it's rare that it's not readily available in our home. <laughs> so I have to say chocolate. Uh, Good I love dark chocolate. Mm, I love that too. That's great. Mm. That is great. Well, thank you so much, Stephen. We're so looking forward to having you this week. And for others who are watching, we are looking forward and invite you to join us this coming Sunday at 10 o'clock, either online or in person. And please remember that you are not alone. God cares for you. And so do we. Thanks, Stephen. We'll see you this Sunday. Awesome.